Hey guys, welcome back to Tactical Recruit. Today I've got the Jin Ming M4A1 Gen 9 again, and I'm just gonna be walking you through how to break the rifle down into its separate parts. This, this will come in handy if you wanna get access to your gearbox, if you're pulling it apart to spray paint it, hydro dip it. Um, yeah, I've seen, I've seen a few videos around about how to do it, but it's really quickly wanted to make a short and informative video how to do it properly. So when you're working on gel blasters, I definitely recommend getting yourself some good tools. I found this this uh, set of tool at my local hardware store. So it's a ratchet screwdriver. It came with an extension and uh, sorted heads. I definitely recommend getting one of these. It makes it real easy to work on your blaster. So first things first, I just always like to take the stock off. Just pull the battery out. Set it on both sides. Um, that way you won't accidentally pull the trigger or anything and parts start moving. Then on the, up the front here, you got a, a bolt and that'll separate the lower and upper receiver. So just undo that. Get that there. And then leave the screw Leave the screw in a little bit as you pull it out and just push it and that'll push the pin out the other side and then take the screw out, pull the pin out and um, I like to just screw it back in just a little bit just to make sure you don't lose it. Then you should be able to pull out and up and they will separate. It's your upper receiver, just put that to the side. And then on this side, have a little tab, bolt release, place that aside. And then I'm gonna put the Phillips head on. And then your mag release button, so it's held on by one screw. So just quickly, just quickly take that out. Once you take this off, there's gonna be a spring holding it in place, make sure you don't lose that. See that little spring. Once again, pull the rest of the mag release out. I like to slide the spring back on, slide the button back on and just screw it in a little bit. And since I still got the Phillips head, what I'm gonna do is put it onto the extension, use the extension with the screwdriver. And then down the end of your buffer tube is one Phillips head screw that you'll need to remove. It's right in the center. And that'll come off. But down the end here, it's, um, it's a bit tight, but what you need to do is just the, the plate holding your wires in. Just push the plate up. It upside down, give it a bit of a shake, and you have this little plate. So you see the way it's shaped, it's just enough for the wires to run through, but the, the plug that goes into your battery won't fit through that. So you need to remove this little plate before you can get your buffer tube off. So don't, don't try and force it off, otherwise you start breaking stuff. And then there's this little plate that comes off as well. So now I'm going to go back to the 2.5 Allen key head and remove this next pin from the back of the lower receiver. And same thing, pull it out about halfway, then push, and it'll pop the pin out the other side. That way, you should be able to just pull that pin out. Pin, screw. Screw it back in a little bit just so you don't lose it. And now there's, you see just above the trigger, that little pin there, so you need to push that through. So you can just take your Allen key head and just push on that pin, just push it through. You can see it there, popped out a little bit. You should be able to grab that with your fingers and just pull it out. So next we're gonna take off 
uh, the grip and to do that you can take off this base plate and then under behind that is the motor and to get that off it's a size 2 allen key head so just grab your size 2 allen key head this will be spring loaded too so best practice is to hold the base plate down as you're undoing your screws just two And once you've got it out, slowly release that spring-loaded plate. At the bottom, you have a positive and negative terminal on your motor. Just slide them off. And then you should be able to grab your motor with spring and set that aside. Um, and so next, you've got four screws. I don't know if you can see them. You should be able to see them. Four screws, the same size head that you just used, but you'll need the extension, let's put the extension on to get down there. Just be careful not to pinch any wires while doing this. I try and leave all the screws in there. Sometimes it's a bit hard, but if you can leave all the screws in there, then you don't have to worry about losing them, especially when you come to reassembly, if they're all just in there, it makes life easier. So once you get all those four screws completely loosened, your grip should just slide off like that. Then carefully, carefully pull out your positive and negative wires from the gearbox. And then, if you can, set that aside upside down with those screws still in it so you don't lose anything. So now what's left, you've got your gearbox and your lower receiver. Um, the easiest way I've found to do it is put it into semi-automatic. And then, it's, it's a bit of a hard process because you've got to slide this gearbox up and out. And it does take some force. So what you need to do is push the gearbox up a little bit and then pull at the back. So you just gotta be careful. All you have to do is get the back of the gearbox past this lip here. So just gently, well, I say gently, but it does take some force. Just pop it out like that. And then pull out the front and it all will just slide out like that. So that way you're taken right down, that's your lower receiver. And then you should have your gearbox. So this is gonna be where this video ends. It's just a quick disassembly video. So you can see the right way to break down your gel blaster. Um, but in future videos, I'll be, show I'll be pulling apart this gearbox, showing you how to upgrade the spring, the O-ring, eventually some metal gears and just try and break that process down for you all to understand and can do it yourself at home rather than paying someone big bucks to do it for you i hope you enjoyed that i hope that was relatively easy enough to follow along feel free to leave a comment or send me a private message and i'll help you out in any way i can please subscribe for future videos i've got a few videos planned and hopefully can be releasing at least one video a week